Hey now, we're going to do another Lego minifigures unboxing. This is series four. Now when I bought this case online, uh, the box was open, but I counted and 60 packs are inside. So I think everything's in order. By the way, the uh, because, you know, series one through three, I bought from the same person and I've, I've had no problems whatsoever. So I have no reason to believe that this box is going to be tampered with or anything missing. I think it is the same 60 figures that were in here when he received it from Lego. We're going to open one pack right now. Then I'm going to open up all the packs off camera. I'm going to do some sorting. And then uh, we'll go ahead and talk about each of the figures. Let's see, what do we have here? Let's see. Hmm. Oh, I think I know who this is. Let's go ahead and take a look at the sheet that's inside. We're doing this video a little bit different. I'm going to try to speed it up. Uh, I don't need every video to go 25 minutes. 25 minutes. So here are the figures that are going to be in this case. We're going to see how many of each are in there. Let's see what are the different types of, uh, not attachments, when I think about it. Accessories. These are the different types of accessories that are going to be in here. Hey, another fishing pole. Series 3, uh, I have the old man with the fishing pole, and here we go. Series 4, another one has a fishing pole. That's all right. I, I think, uh, I wonder if I'm going to like that one better or the old man better. I don't know. There you go, 16 figures. That's what they look like. Let me give you a peek at the front of the box in case you've never seen the, uh, this box. Maybe you're a newer collector like me. There you go. Uh, I got to get uh, cutting, okay? I'll be back. Number one, the Lawn Gnome. His accessories are a beard, a hat, and he has a fishing pole. Here's a close-up of the printing on the front. He doesn't have any printing at all on the back or on the sides. My box had three Lawn Gnomes. Now he's kind of a neat little figure, but what I don't understand, uh, I went for one, a fishing gnome uh, to me it's just kind of strange maybe I guess maybe gnomes live in the forest they got a fish but I went to look up to see how I would make, put the fishing reel and I noticed from pictures online that sometimes the, the reel goes underneath the rod and sometimes the reel goes over the rod so when uh, is one for sea fishing or is one because a certain type of a larger fish so you would have it over or under this one's over, this one's under. I don't exactly know, let me know. I'm not, I haven't been fishing in a long time. Now it's kind of interesting, series three had the fisherman. And then right away, series four, boom, another fishing reel. Kind of interesting that they would go back to back. Beards are exactly the same, rods are exactly the same. I like the fisherman because he kind of makes sense. He's got a beard, he looks like an old fisherman, got an old, uh, he's out there fishing or something. Plus he gets the bonus fish. But now, look at the gnome. He's short. Look, he's got short little legs. Now it's a tough decision between which of the fishing dudes I like. Number two, the kimono girl. Her accessory is a fan. Here's a close-up of the decorations on her hair. There were four in my box, and as you can see, she has printing on the front, on the back, but none on the sides. It's the second appearance of this type of body style to where they have like a dress or a skirt on the bottom. The first appearance of this in the Lego mini series was in series two where the witch had that plastic piece. Number three, the musketeer. He comes with the rapier, a hat, and then you have to put the feather in the hat. As you can see with the kimono girl, there's no printing on the back of the head, but the musketeer, he doesn't have any printing on his back at all. Not even on the sides. What a coinky dink! I had three musketeers in my box. <laughs> Number four, the punk rocker. He's got a nice little printing for his t-shirt. Nice electric guitar. And most awesome is this soft pink mohawk. Four figures in the box. As you can see, only the front of the shirt and the pants have printing. 
Now the hair is not soft soft. It's kind of a soft plastic to where you can bend it. It's not really really soft like rubber but you can bend it. Number five, Surfer Girl. She comes with a cool surfboard. This close-up shows the nice printing that's on the board even though the flames might be going the wrong way on the back end. There were three of these ladies in my box. I think it's kind of neat to have the surfboard and then it, you can also have it snap onto the base so you can have her stand on the board, on the base, or on the board, on the base. Number six, the Viking. This guy has a lot of parts. You have to put together his helmet, put together his axe, and it comes with a shield too. You don't get any printing on the sides of the back, but that's okay because this guy has a lot of pieces. Plus you get printing on the shield. There were three in the box. The middle guy, my son, he put the horns on upside down. He said it reminded him of a Skyrim character. Number seven, the monster. He doesn't have any accessories, but he comes with this cool piece to give him that big forehead. I really like this. This makes me laugh. It's pretty funny looking. No printing on the sides or the back. He's a simple character with no accessories. Like I said, I really like that cool piece, but what I want to know is who's putting band-aids on the monster? Your monster, you don't need band-aids. The hockey player is another one where you get a lot of pieces. Some of the hockey gear include your skates, you have a puck and a stick, you have your body protection, your body armor, or pads I should say. You have a face mask and a helmet. I wonder if he has all his teeth. Looks like he has all his teeth so he's doing okay. As far as printing, he just has maybe knee pads just on this part here. No printing on the sides or the back. This right here, he has his body armor or his pads on. There's the back, there's the front. Looks pretty good. Oh yeah, and you can make him stand by himself or he can have him stand. He stands pretty good on his skates. Street Skater is another minifigure that gets two choices to stand on the base or he could stand on a skateboard. You have to pop on the wheels. Has a little uh, beanie. Check out the printing on his beanie. They have a little printing on the back too showing that he's wearing a hoodie. Here's look a little elastic keeping his hoodie, his sweatshirt on tight. No printing on the sides. There's a zipper. Pretty cool. I like the skateboard dudes. They're pretty cool. Number 10. The sailor. His accessory is a telescope. He's got a sailor hat. There were five in the box. As you can see no printing on the side. It does have printing on the back. For the front, you have some on the shirt and a little uh, anchor on his sailor hat. Number 11, the soccer player comes with a trophy. They call this part a fez, F-E-Z. A fez is a hat, but you put these two together and it's like a stand for the trophy. Yeah, that's what a fez looks like. It looks exactly like that. Maybe they just call it a fez because that's the shape. I don't know if there's any figures that actually use it as a fizz. There's the printing on his face. You can see all the front sides have printing. The pants, the shirt, the sides they have this yellow stripe which continues from here, comes around. But it does not continue to the back. No yellow line continuing here. Here you can see the stripes on his jersey. No printing on the back of the head. If you're going to use the trophy if you're going to stand your figure in the middle, you can't use the base for the trophy. It won't fit. You can put the base on and have him stand next to his trophy only if you scoot the figure over and then put him here. And this is how you'll see him when he holds it like it is in the picture. There were five soccer dudes, five soccer players in my box. Number 12, Werewolf. His accessory is a short bone. He has a hairpiece. I'll have to zoom in on his face to see how much he looks like a werewolf. There were five in my box. No printing on the back. No printing on the sides. All the printing is on the front facing sides. Let's go ahead and take a look at the facial prints. Yep, you can see he's got uh, fangs like a werewolf. He's got big old canines. Nice tampos on him. I mean uh, printing, sorry. Not only that, he's got pointy ears like that other dude. Mm -mm -mm, not the gnome. Mm -mm. 
who was the guy that had pointy ears? I forgot. Sorry. Number 13 hazmat guy comes with a spray gun and a helmet. No printing on the sides or the back. There's four in my box. I like the details right here to where they show like the belt is tight so it's pulling on the clothes because when you're dealing with hazardous materials you have to wear a safety suit. So he has a pull tight to keep everything all locked up and nothing sneaking into his suit. But as far as him looking all afraid, no, when your job is dealing with hazardous ma materials, you got to be professional and you have to be strong. You can't be afraid. You got to do your job. I love this piece. I love this helmet. I like I like the clear plastic piece. That was uh, put in before, as you've seen. It was not a loose piece. I like the spray gun. I like how it comes around to the back. Plugs in. I wonder if they're going to have a scuba diver. Seeing this figure like this makes me wonder if they have in the future a scuba diver or if they're going to do one. That would be pretty cool. I like this piece. Number 14, the artist. Comes with a paint palette, paint brush, and a little beret. No printing on the side or the back. There were four figures in my box. As with most minifigures, you can put the accessories in either hand. You can be left-handed or right-handed. I like that he's got a little goatee, too. Number 15, the ice skater. She's a lady figure with ice skates, a skirt, nice blonde hair. Her skates are exactly the same as the ones that were used on the hockey player. I had three ice skaters in my box. They had printing on the front. It does have printing for the suit underneath. I put the skirt on and I don't want to take it off. It's a lot of work. You can back it up if you want to see what the printing looked like for the suit. On the back it has printing. Let's see, I forgot on the sides. I don't see printing on the sides. Oh, I'm sorry. Yellow printing on the sides. Now for her skirt, you can have it go to the left or you can have it go to the right. For her skates, she could be on skates or she can be on the stand. A nice decorative piece. Oh, I just noticed. Look, it's just like her suit. Pretty fancy. Look, it has a blue arm and a yellow arm. Wow, I've never even noticed that before. I wonder if there's been any figures up until now that had the two different colored arms to show like a sleeveless outfit. That's pretty nice. I like that. Last up, number 16, the crazy scientist. He has a conical flask. I really like the color on this. It's pretty neat. It's a bright green. I'll show you. You'll see in a second better. His crazy scientist hair is soft. It's pretty neat. There were four crazy scientists. No printing on the sides or the back. As usual, you can put the accessory in either hand. I really like his hair. Kind of reminds me of Yu-Gi-Oh! Or the way my son wears his hair. There was all the figures in Series 4. Pretty nice assortment. Some I like better than others. 16 figures as usual in Series 4. I find it to be a nice mix of male characters, female figures, real characters, fantasy. I think it's a pretty nice mix. I look forward to reading your comments. I read them all. I might not respond to everybody, but I absolutely read every comment because I maintain a family-friendly channel. So, which did you think was cool? What was your favorite? You never know when you will get a shout-out in a future Race Grooves video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.